It's now been 15 years since I've run. 6.77 was the first time. I've shaved off seven tenths of a second. I started when I was a 35 year old man. I'm about to be 50. So um, I started off a long time ago. And the number uh, I raised that year in 2005 was $0. Did it for fun. $0. But I still really want to run. As you know, I trained very hard with Jay Glazer on Breakable Performance. You did, man. I was really proud of you. He sent two trainers, Zach and Justin, to Indianapolis to walk me through, get me ready. I told you on Tuesday I know. before yeah. I left for Indianapolis on my final training session – Something happened in my right leg, like my groin popped and it, but it was all better. I mean, my right leg was so jacked up when I got on the plane Wednesday, but by the time Saturday hit, I felt good. Sunday, okay. I'm out there. The trainers got me ready. The great training staff at the combine got me stretched and everything. I felt great. Midway through my first run, midway through my first run, I, yeah. uh, I felt it. Yep. Right around the 20, 22 yard line. My first time was like 6'2", or whatever. I'm like, oh my God. I can't do this. Yeah, 6'17, I think. Right. Oh my God, I can't do this. So, anyway, oh, yeah, you can see the old right gen there. stat is zero dollars. You could take that down. But at any rate, long story short, um, I tried it again. Even though I couldn't feel parts of my right leg. And I got it just slightly better, and I thought to myself, okay, I could do this. I went for a third time, and I'm like, I'm not going to think about ripping my <laughs> muscle off the bone. <laughs> I'm going to just tighten the, tighten the abs and go for it, and I got a six flat, and I was disappointed. I was disappointed, but I'm, I'm about to get emotional. Met Connor, 12-year-old boy. He had brain cancer two years ago. Imagine you get this call, you're, you're, you're a kid, you're a family, your son has brain cancer. What? Really? Like, I don't even know how I would handle such a thing. I don't know how my wife and I would handle it together. I mean, and the dad of Connor was there on the field. He wore a Michigan shirt in my honor. And he, we hugged it out. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, what the hell do I care when I'm running? Yeah. You know, I mean, what the hell do I care? An Eagles scout. I'm walking from the green room, the NFL Network set up to the studio on, on Monday, yesterday. I'm walking, and he's FaceTiming with a, a little boy. Couldn't be more than a year and a half. Couldn't be. FaceTiming, he goes, hey, it's Rich. And he shows me, and the kid doesn't know what the hell I am. He's like playing with a little car. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to him about the pajamas he's wearing. It's early in the morning. Sure. And as I'm looking at the kid, the scout says to me, my son has leukemia, so thanks oh. for doing what you're doing. I'm like, what? And then when I left the studio, he was waiting there for me, and he had cash for me to give to St. Jude. I'm like, I can't take this. And he's, he's like, you got to take it. I mean, the number of stories that I heard the number of stories that I want to bring to you for St. Jude, where people go and kids get better and families never see a bill, it really is just so overwhelming. And I'm pleased to say that we um, raised over half a million dollars this year. Oof, incredible, man. Amazing. Not just the corporate sponsors, which includes AT&T here, which is awesome, but the online donations through the roof. It's a possibility if we keep going this week, we reach $100,000, that alone, which is the exact amount of money that the owner of the Baltimore Ravens, Steve Bishotti and his wife, Renee, donated through Run Rich Run. Got a text from him over the weekend. My wife and I want to donate, hooked him up, and he's like, we're committing $100,000. I'm like, what? And there's more to come. So for the life of this run, it's possible that we close in on $1.2 million for the entirety of just the five years. And Incredible, I can, man. I cannot Congratulations. Tell you, no, and I cannot Chris. tell you what it means to these families and these kids. I cannot tell you. And I try to communicate it to you.
but families, their lives get turned upside down in a, in a bat of an eye. In the bat of an eye. And all of a sudden, they're like, where do we go? And St. Jude's like, come here. Come here. Kids are in an environment where they can have the fun if they can think, you know, get away from it all. And then the families don't have the pressure of finances. Kids just go there, get better. You don't see a bill. Transportation, groceries, because of the donations. So thank you to uh, the Bashadis and the Ravens for stepping up like that. It's really amazing. And Tom Brady now wanting me to train with him. <laughs> As he Instagrammed out yesterday on the simulcam footage of me getting clowned by the NFL Network crew. <laughs> I mean, the most unkind. Uh, um, you beat the high school student. The, to yeah. put the poor beat the high school kid. <laughs> yeah. You beat the high school student. Brady uh, Instagrams out for me to come train at TB12 Sports before next year's combine. I guarantee you break your record. And as long as I don't have to eat avocado ice cream, how do I say no to something like that? Might be good, Rich. I was going to say, let's be honest. You'd eat the ice cream. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if Tom's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, have this. Eat. Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Take another cone. So thank you to all the listeners and viewers out there of this show or wherever you are, wherever you heard about it. To the passionate people at St. Jude on behalf of them, thank you for giving. Mike, you were very generous as well. Thank you for that. You're welcome, Rich. Really appreciate it's that. Amazing. Thank you for your support, guys, here. You're a good man, Rich. I'm yeah. now to put my right leg back together like Humpty Dumpty so I could do it again next year. We can months. rebuild him. Okay. Yeah. We have the technology. Six million dollar host. <laughs> I would love to raise that much. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.